Hi kindergartners, welcome back for another story time. Today we have Bedtime for Francis by Russell Hoban and pictures by Garth Williams. What do you wonder about this book? Just seeing the cover. What do you think it might be about? What do you remember about Francis from other Francis stories? What are you thinking and predicting might happen in the story based off of the picture on the cover? in the title, Bedtime for Francis. Let's get started. The big hand of the clock is at 12. The little hand is at seven. It is seven o'clock. It is bedtime for Francis. Mother said, it's time for bed. Father said, it's time for bed. Francis said, I want a glass of milk. <sighs> All right, said father. All right, said mother. You may have a glass of milk. Francis drank the milk. What time is your bedtime at home? Is it seven like Francis? Is it earlier? Later? Do you have glass, a glass of milk or water before bed like Francis? Carry me to my room, father, said Francis. All right, said father. Piggyback, said Francis. So father carried her piggyback to her room. Father kissed Francis goodnight. Mother kissed Francis goodnight. Francis said, may I sleep with my teddy bear? Father gave her her teddy bear. Francis said, may I sleep with my doll too? Mother gave her the doll. Good night, said father. Good night, said mother. Did you kiss me? said Francis. Yes, said mother. Yes, said father. Do you get kisses before bedtime? Do you sleep with a stuffy or a doll or a favorite toy? Kiss me again, said Francis. Father kissed her again. Mother kissed her again. They closed the door. May I have my door open? said Francis. Father opened the door. Good night, said mother. Good night, said father. Good night, said Francis. Francis could not sleep. She closed her eyes, but she still could not sleep. So she began to sing a little song about the alphabet. She made it up. She made it up as she went along. Do you ever have a hard time sleeping at night? Sometimes I do. A is for apple pie, B is for bear, C is for crocodile combing his hair, D is for dumplings, Francis kept singing through E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, and R. And she had no trouble until she got near the end of the alphabet. She is in bed. S is for sailboat, T is for tiger, U is for underwear down in the dryer. Francis stopped because dryer did not sound like tiger. She started to think about tigers. She thought about being tigers and little tigers, baby tigers and mother and father tigers, sister tigers and brother tigers, aunt tigers and uncle tigers. I wonder if there are any tigers around here, she said. Frances looked around her room. She thought maybe she could see a tiger in the corner. She was not afraid, but she wanted to be sure. So, she looked again. She was sure she could see a tiger. She went to tell mother and father. There's a tiger in my room, said Francis. Did he bite you, said father. No, said Francis. Did he scratch you, said mother. No, said Francis. Then he is a friendly tiger, said father. He will not hurt you. Go back to sleep. Do I have to, said Francis. Yes, said father. Yes, said mother. There she is. Do I have to go back to sleep?
Father kissed her, mother kissed her. Frances went back to bed and finished her song on the way. She closed her eyes again. She still could not sleep. Frances opened her eyes and looked around. She saw something big and dark. Giants are big and dark, she thought. Maybe that is a giant. I think it is a giant. I think that giant wants to get me. She went into the living room. Can you notice? What do you think it is? What was Frances seeing? To me, I see the shape of a chair. And maybe a blanket or clothes on the chair. There she is worried. <clears throat> Mother and father were watching television and having tea and cake. Frances said, there is a giant in my room. May I watch television? No, said mother. No, said father. Frances said, the giant wants to get me. <clears throat> May I have some cake? Father gave Frances a piece of cake. Father said, how do you know he wants to get you? Frances said, isn't that what giants do? Father said, not always. Why don't you ask him what he wants? Frances went back to her room. She went right over to the giant. She said, what do you want, giant? There you go. Do you ever get out of bed at night? What do your grown-ups say to you when you get out of bed? She took a good look at him. There was no giant. It was just a chair in her bathrobe. Is that what you were thinking it was? She went to bed again. Frances was not very tired and did not close her eyes. She looked up at the ceiling. There was a crack in the ceiling and she thought about it. Maybe something will come out of the crack, she thought. Maybe bugs or spiders. Maybe something with a lot of skinny legs in the dark. <laughs> Sometimes at night we have a lot of worries. We have to think about ways to get rid of our worries at night. She went to get father. He was brushing his teeth. Frances said, something scary is going to come out of the crack in the ceiling. I forgot to brush my teeth, father said. <clears throat> I forgot to brush my teeth. Father said, you brush your teeth and I will have a look. Frances brushed her teeth. Father came back and said, nothing could come out of such a little crack. But if you are worried about it, get somebody to help you watch. You can take turns. Frances told her teddy bear to watch. They took turns for a while, then Frances got tired of it and let Teddy do all the watching. Frances got up and went to the bathroom. When she came back, she was not sleepy at all. The window was open and the wind was blowing in the curtains. I do not like the way those curtains are moving, said Frances. Maybe there's something waiting, very soft and quiet. Maybe it moves the curtains just to see if I'm watching. She went into mother and father's room to tell them. Hmm, what do you think her mother and father are going to say? Do you think they're going to say, it's time to go to bed, Frances? There's nothing at your window, Frances. What do you think they're going to say? You think about it? They were asleep. Frances stood by father's side of the bed very quietly, right near his head. She was so quiet that she was the quietest thing in the room. She was so quiet that father woke up all of a sudden with his eyes wide open. He said, Mph. Frances said, there's something moving the curtains. May I sleep with you? Father said, listen, Frances, do you want to know why the curtains are moving? Why, said Frances. That is the wind's job, said father. Every night the wind has to go around and blow all the curtains. How can the wind have a job, said Frances. Everybody has a job, said father. I have to go to my office every morning at nine o'clock. That is my job. You have to go to sleep so you can be wide awake for school tomorrow. That is your job, Frances said. I know, but... Father said, I've not finished. 
If the wind does not blow the curtains, he will be out of a job. If I do not go to the office, I will be out of the job. And if you do not go to sleep now, do you know what will happen to you? I will be out of the job, said Francis. No, said Father. I will get a spanking, said Francis. Right, said Father. Oh, no. Well, Francis's family does things differently than maybe your family does. Good night, said Francis, and she went back to her room. Francis closed the window and got into bed. Suddenly, there was a noise at the window. She heard bump and thump. I know something will get me this time, she thought. She jumped out of bed and went to tell mother and father. When she got to the door, she thought about some more, thought about it some more and decided not to tell them. She went back to her room. Frances heard the noise at the window again. She pulled the covers over her head. I wonder what it is, she thought. If it is something very bad, father will have to come and chase it away. She pulled off the covers and stood at her bed so she could look out the window. She saw a moth bumping against the window. See the moth? Bump and thump, his wings smacked the glass. Whack and smack, whack and smack made Francis think of a spanking. And all of a sudden she was tired. She lay down and closed her eyes so she could think better. She thought there were so many giants and tigers and scary and exciting things before. And I'm pretty tired now. That is just a moth, and he's the only and he is only doing his job. The same as the wind. His job is bumping and thumping, and my job is to go to sleep. So she went to sleep and did not get out of get out of bed again until mother called her for breakfast. That end. Now you may have noticed that Francis's family does different things for bedtime or consequences than your family. So I thought today, two things will happen to go along with the story time. I want you to either write about or talk about what you do for your bedtime routine. And you could even talk about what consequences you have for your, if you keep getting out of bed. Maybe you have something consequence or maybe you don't. Either way, it's okay. I'm just inter we can. It's just a good, fun thing to write about. Um, and I also want you to write to Frances and tell her advice you might have for her for when she is having a hard time going to sleep. Maybe you could talk about sending a song to herself, counting sheep. What do you do when you're having a hard time sleeping? Write about it and tell Frances. Talk to you in our next story time.